Hi everyone, my name is Deva Lil. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So um, today I want to continue from where I stopped on the part one of my before and after delivery story. So if you haven't watched part one, you should so that you will understand the story. I stopped from where I took pepper, Jesus. When I took that pepper, it started disturbing me because I'm not supposed to take it. It started disturbing me. They gave me, you know, you're supposed to like Nigerian culture now, the pepper and the hot. Imagine I just came back from a very serious and dangerous operation. I was taking hot. You know, I was taking it so that it can flush out that blood. But then it was doing something else. <laughs> You need to see my body, I started swelling up. Even the least rashes on my body expanded. Like, I was so big to the point that my leg was swollen. Like, if I'm walking, I'll be feeling the, the fluid inside my leg. That's how, that's how bad it was. And I was taking water. Like, I would take, like... 15 or 20 bottles of water a day when I and I wasn't eating imagine who I was taking a very strong medication I wasn't eating I was taking just water when I go to the toilet I would just be passing out water I was not taking my medication properly because I wasn't getting myself postpartum depression said I said going through that ah, you should see the way I was acting like I was so glued to my baby I didn't want anybody to touch him. It was as if nobody would be able to take care of him. I was so glued to him. That wasn't me. That was what I was passing through. The stress, the, the depression, the postpartum depression. So um, I wasn't taking my medication properly. Like I would miss morning on. I would take this one. I would take this one. God, I said hearing voices like on, in my head. Seriously. Nobody knew about it. I was actually the only one that was going through this and to me everything was normal It was when I got myself that I started thinking about everything I was doing. I was like, ah, no, this is not normal So this is what people who pass through depression. This is what they they go through like if you want to talk You'll be like hey, they said they said that's those voices you're hearing in your head So when I got myself by myself I went to the hospital. I found out that um, my stitches was leaking. Then I started pressing it out. The more they press it out, the more I realized that my body becomes normal and the fluid was going out. I wasn't that big. I started taking my medication properly and, and yeah, this is me today. <laughs> It wasn't an easy thing, like depression is such a bad thing, like you just be going like you don't even know what you're doing, you think you're doing, you, you think you're doing the normal thing, it's only if someone should see you and then the person will be like this person is, this person is passing through something. That's it, today I'm, I'm okay, even though I haven't gotten to my, my desired uh, weight, I'm still working on that, yeah, it's just one month. I'm still working on that. I'm still going to register at the gym, but I'm going to give myself like probably two more months so that I can, you know, heal to some extent. Yeah. So uh, that's it. Yeah. Um, when I gave birth, I couldn't touch my baby and no. Oh my goodness, it wasn't an easy thing. But I thank God today. I'm alive and I'm strong. I'm healthy. So I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing short clips like um, short dramas and all. Yeah. All right, guys. Bye.